Greetings, Trey here with Axonar Comics. Welcome to the Transporter Effect video. I know some of you were curious to know how I did that and missed out on that live stream. And let's be real, it's kind of difficult sometimes to sit through an hour while some guy rambles on. And all you want to know is how he did that effect. So that's what this video is about, so let's get right to it. The film editing software that we're going to be using for the Transporter Effect is called Filmora 9. I'll leave a link in the description down below. But basically what I did is I filmed myself taking a sip of my coffee and I just held that post for an extended period of time. And then I filmed the studio without me in it for that same amount of time. I opened up Filmora 9 and then I brought both of those clips. I found both those clips and I put them down into my tracks with the studio clip being on the bottom and me drinking the coffee on top. I then found the part where how long I held it and I think it was about five seconds. So I found the area where I found it and then I just clipped it. And then I just got rid of the excess fat. Boom. After that, I went through and I clipped both tracks into several different sections. And the reason for this is that we're going to go into each section of me drinking coffee and we're going to play with the compositing, which, as you can see here, I already did. Ta-da! Let's turn on the behind me so we can see it. There we go. So now it looks like I'm phasing in. Right? And you can do that by locking down one track and then going into the track that you want to work with the compositing by double left clicking on it. And then going up here into the work menu and then select compositing. And then you can adjust the slider. To what looks best for you. I always stress to people, do what looks best for you. Train your eye to see what you like the best. Don't try to just mimic someone else. I mean, of course, we're trying to mimic the Star Trek, the original series transporter effect today, but you know. So I went through each one of my sections and I changed the compositing until I was all the way into focus. And then I went up into elements. Now what you're going to need to do is you're going to want to go over to one to share film stock and they're attached to Filmora 9. So go there and you can get the martial arts pack. It's free. You'll have a bunch of wonderful effects to use for when you're editing or creating your videos. I chose the twister because I felt like it had that original series kind of feel or feeling to it. And then by locking down both my other tracks, I went to the Twister track and I right clicked on it, which brings up this menu. And then I went to Speed and Duration. And I went ahead and stretched it. I, I slowed it down so it would stretch out. So now when that Twister comes on, all right. It's not exactly as big as I want it to be. I need it to be covering me fully for the effect to be, you know, believable. So I went ahead and locked my bottom two tracks. I sn snipped the twister track there at the end. Got rid of the excess. And now with both of my bottom tracks locked, I can grab the twister track and I can move it around. I want to go ahead and just stretch it out real good to where it's pretty much covering me like so. All right, but it still doesn't seem to fully sell it. Now what I need to do is I need to go into, I need to double click on the twister track and then I want to play with the temperature and the tint. I want to turn the temperature up. I want to turn that tint all the way down.
that's a little bit closer. And I know in this tutorial, I might not get it exact, like what you just saw in the intro, but you can keep playing around with it until you get it exactly where you like it. So I think right here, we're going to go ahead and line it up with the bottom two tracks and we're going to snip it. And then we're going to double click on our twister track and we're going to go to video, then compositing, and we're going to go ahead and turn it all the way down. Because at the end of this video, it should be turn the transporter beam should be turning off at that point. Then let's go ahead and snip it here. And let's go ahead and turn it down as well. Not too bad. It looks pretty close. But what really sells this effect is the sound effect. So we'll go up to audio. We'll go up to my music. And as you can see, I already have the transporter sound effect loaded in there. So let's go ahead and put it in there. We're going to want to go ahead and cut off the excess. And now, boom. and that's it. Pretty easy, right? Not too bad. If this was your first time here and you liked what you saw, please become a subscriber and hit that little bell icon so you don't miss a single thing. Until next we meet, live long and prosper. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Say. Oh, get a message, record it, and then yeah, okay, perfect.